G'day guys and welcome to the Llama Ball Show and I'm your host and made Llama Ball and today uh, I will be doing a small review on this uh, fantastic little title. It is called Super Mother Load. Now I don't know if you remember uh, Mother Load, it used to be on Mini Clip, maybe about, oh, maybe about, oh, I think it still is on miniclip.com. Um, this is one of the titles I loved and used to play so much and I uh, just want to talk to you guys a little bit about this game. Uh, it is simple, I think it is an indie title, and it's one of the most fantastic, fun little games because it brings back so many memories of myself playing this game. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is actually just a little bit about the mechanics, the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay is pretty standard. Um, you know, you are going to be doing a lot of mining and stuff, um, but the depth of the game is also good. So, uh, first up, you've got your petrol station where you fill up, there you go, you just run into it. Uh, you've also can put your stuff in to get some money, so you've got your money, and you can repair your little ship up here. I don't need any repairs at the moment, and also gather some upgrades. So there it is, enter the shop, and then you've got this upgrade screen. You can upgrade uh, your drill speed, rotor speed, tread speed, get, uh, get some bombs as well when there's metal and stuff that you can't find, uh, items as well, and a whole bunch of upgrades as well which have different levels of abilities and they will cost more and more money. So, you know what, for 10 bucks on the PSN store, if you're a PSN member, you cannot go wrong with this title. Um, one of the most fantastic little games that I've been playing. It's pretty much very simple, a little simple story behind it as well. Um, and this used to be one of the demos for the PS4 when it first came out. And you can see I'm starting to drill down here. And different drill bits will have different lengths of time um, where you can drill faster and stuff. I'm, I'm working on pretty basic at the moment. And there we go. Going down. You can see there it's pretty good. And there's also a little story. What's this? I well, can't get that. But there's also a little story. Now some guys, and here we go. Some guys downstairs are in trouble. Treacherous. There's some. Solaris wants to financially reward your efforts. Take this token and appreciate and upgrade you your rig for a safer passage below. Ah, oh, cool. So they give me a free Oh, a thousand bucks. Look at that. Beautiful. So I can go up. Um, I'd like to go straight down so it's easy to get to the petrol station because it is pretty tough. There we go. So straight up, I'm at six, 600 feet at the moment, so you can clock a lot of things in. Because if you're low on fuel, you can go bang straight to the refueling station there, get some more cash, and then head head over and grab some more upgrades. So a very, very simple game, guys. And this is a gem. <clears throat> you're going to have some fun with this um, small PS, PS4 title. Works also good on, on remote play. <clears throat> and it's good to see that they've actually... I'm going to play in a bomb. Oops. Oops. Does that work? No, I can't do that. Look at this. Oops. Those bombs don't work on that. <coughs> oh. Well. As you can see, guys, it is very, very fun title. Can be very addictive as well because of some of the depths you can actually go to. Um, I would suggest definitely getting a bigger fuel tank and a bigger cargo bay because you will be finding cool stuff. Oh, there's a bomb there I can pick up. Because I'm going to need some more of them. As you can see, I'm pretty much playing it in real time as I'm recording this. There we go, some TNT, it's exactly what I need. And the, the red bar up on the left corner um, signifies that it is my health, and the yellow bar is my cargo bay, and then the fuel as well consumption is just under that mini map, which you can buy for 700 bucks uh, from the small store, which is kind of useful to have. I'm going to head back to service because I'm getting low on fuel. That's straight back up there. Grabbing some fuel. I'll drop off what I've got as well. I've almost got 10 grand up. I might get a new drill bit or something, but this is a cool gem if you just want to chill back with your gaming and you know just just have a bit of fun with it. It's a fantastic little title. Um, as I said, I recommend it to anyone who has, keeps an open mind with these games because can I, oh man, I can't really use them on that. That sucks. Because they are a lot of fun. I'm actually mining quite a far way down. And there we go. Grab some more ore. Go. Look at that. Nice. Might keep going straight down for a bit, see how far we get to our next little little mission log. Hopefully without dying. 
Because I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. Um. So the controls and combos there. Oh, look at that. You're smelting there, so you can have a look. Like it's pretty vast. Like the game for how much you're getting is actually a pretty vast game as well. So. As I said, it's on the PC store for 10 bucks at the moment. I highly recommend it. This is probably one of the first uh, indie, indie titles that was on the PS4, actually, um, that I played as a demo in store. And I was like, oh my goodness, I used to play this when, you know, on the PC and, you know, when we had dial up and stuff. But this is a much better title than yeah. But thank you guys for watching. I just thought I'd let you know about this game because it's.